What is the craziest way you managed to get laid? I personally loved this one. Some people out there have crazy ways they managed to get laid. Stick around for part two for even more interesting Reddit stories. Number one, a girl I met in class was lost for her next class, showed her the way, and got her number, you know, if she gets lost again. We parted for the day. She was pretty, so I ran the story to my roommate. Roommate decided to play a dumb joke by sending her a message saying that I miss her already. She texted her dorm address, brought some food, but she wanted to do something else. So instead of eating food that night, I ate something else. Wow. Not only did you get the girl's number, but she even invited you over to her dorm, and instead of eating food, you ended up eating well. Something else. I guess sometimes it pays to be a little bit silly and take risks, even if it means sacrificing a meal. Who needs food when you have a hot date? Number two. Oh boy, here we go. I was a virgin at the time. This happened one Friday evening when I had some friends over playing Cards Against Humanity. It's not a serious game, even when you're playing it. So sometimes we would show people the card we drew as a replacement, if it was like perfect for the hand we had just played. I don't remember what the black card we were playing to was anymore, but I drew the Friends with Benefits white card, and it would have been perfect for it. So I leaned over and showed my friend sitting next to me. Later, everyone left, and she stayed behind, and we were talking, and she assumed I meant it as a request. I hadn't even thought of that, but rolled with it. Number three was a virgin, and on my 19th birthday, two girls sat down on my bed in my room during a pregame event. By the way, I knew one but not the other, and they basically said, which of us do you want to have sex with? I was a little shocked and tried to play it cool, so I replied both and laughed a little. They looked at each other for a few seconds and just rolled with it, still amazed that worked to this day and that the rest of college was not nearly as easy to get laid as I thought after that experience. Oh, wish I had even remotely similar experience to this one when I was back in college. I guess some people just get lucky. And sadly, I am not one of them. Number four. Woke up to commotion outside my room the morning after a night out. It was my flatmate with some girl he'd brought home. He was out separately and her friend just chatting. I got up all groggy, went to the bathroom, and when I came back, this girl's friend just followed me back into bed and that was that. Later, I found out that she assumed she had come back with me originally, but just woke up on the sofa for some reason. I guess she just decided to resume from where she thought we had been. Definitely the least amount of effort I've ever had to put into getting laid. Well, I guess you could say that she woke up to a real-life game of musical beds. Glad to hear that. She didn't have to put too much effort in, though. Sounds like that girl was just ready to hit snooze and pick up where she left off. Number five. A few years ago, I used to post on a relationship forum. I had a reputation for being a bit of a sad sap over there. A girl member who ended up living close by to me wanted to meet and see if there was something wrong with me and try to figure out why I sucked with women. The night we were to meet up, she got lost, and by the time she arrived, the place we were going to meet up at had closed. So then we just ended up going to a local dive bar. We ended up talking forever, and it was getting late. She suggested going to my place to talk some more. She lived about 40 minutes away from me, so we're back at my place, drinking and talking. I'm sitting on the couch, and suddenly she straddles me and then kisses me. I have no idea what is happening. She pulls out her tits and says, hurry up and freak me. The entire thing sounds a little weird and random, but yeah. Seven years passed, and now we have two beautiful daughters, and I've never been happier. Number six. I was at a hotel in college with a bunch of other college kids. A bunch of us were in one room drinking, and I had to go to the bathroom, but someone was using the one in the room. I said I was going to my room to use that one and also get some more beer. A girl in the group asked if she could come with me. When I came out of the bathroom, she had one of my t-shirts on. I didn't go back to the party room with more beer afterwards. Number seven, just got a new kitten, was outside a club on my phone and locked it. A girl next to me saw my home screen of me with said kitten on my head, asked about him, and got talking. The night was winding up, so I said I was going to head home. She goes in to grab her jacket and comes running back out, asking to come back to my place and see my kitten. Things went as expected. My kitten ended up being a bit of a theme for the rest of the night. 
Actually had the little guy, maybe four days at that point. What a bro. He got a new bed the next day and more treats than he knew what to do with. I guess she was in the mood for, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Number eight. Met a girl on Facebook. Chatted with her for like a few hours before she told me she wanted to come over. By the way, we live two hours apart from each other. And I thought she was joking until she messaged me to pick her up from the train station that same freaking day. So I dressed up and went to pick her up and we had great sex. She went full psycho the next day saying stuff like we freaked. That means we're in a relationship now. She also wanted to see my phone to check if I was talking to any other girls, etc. But I just blocked her and never heard back from her again. Anyways, got my first rim job as well and it was great. Number nine, at a party, very drunk. I stumble up to a friend talking to several people I don't recognize. I say, hey, and just sort of nod along to the conversation. Random girl in the group says something like, it's not a party till people start making out. So I drunkenly ask why we aren't making out, which I cringe at now. She asks if I'm serious. I say, yeah, we make out for maybe five seconds and conversation resumes. I keep bumping into her throughout the night. We keep making out longer and harder. Eventually, we go back to her car to screw. As a disclaimer, I'm really not that hot. I just didn't care. Well, I guess you could say that girl really took the party until people start making out statements seriously. Looks like it really paid off for in the end. A make-out session that turned into a full-blown car rendezvous. Talk about taking the party to the next level. Number 10. My best friend and I were having a going-away party. As we were moving out of state, we pretty much looked alike, both tall with long shoulder-length hair. One of our mutual friends arranged for him to get laid as a going-away gift. All the girl knew about him was he's tall with long hair. Long story short, he cut his hair the day before the party and I ended up getting laid. Number 11. In college, I met a girl at a party and we hit it off. We started hanging out and she told me she liked making sweets and her favorite was rock candy. Eventually, I got the I don't know if I want a relationship right now text and that crushed me. Saturday night, I was drinking at home, wallowing in my sorrow when I got a text from her asking if I wanted to try making rock candy. My stupid drunk ass thought she actually wanted to make candy, so I walked the three blocks to her house and told her I was ready to make some. She said, I didn't invite you over to actually make rock candy. Part of me was disappointed I didn't get to make any candy, but hey, forgettable drunk sex was awesome. Number 12 played spin the bottle with three other friends. Two friends were given some kind of lame dare to kiss each other, but were embarrassed to kiss in front of me and my female friend. So a female friend says, let's go out of the room so they can kiss. Won't take but a second. I leave the room with her so my other friends can kiss in private, which I thought was weird. She closes the door and proceeds to start passionately kissing me, and before I know it, we had sex up the wall of my bathroom, she was pretty much a 10 out of 10, and I am not, couldn't believe my luck. I guess you could say, spin the bottle turned into spin my world upside down. Who would have thought that a boring game with some friends could lead to a steamy encounter in the bathroom with a 10 out of 10? She really took one for the team and gave me the opportunity of a lifetime. I guess sometimes you just have to take a chance and spin that bottle. Number 13 took a bet in a pub in Toronto went to a girl and whispered to her ear, I can speak French between your legs, was ready and waiting for the physical comeback to hit my face. Instead, she spilled all of her drink through her nose and we ended up at her place. Number 14. I was leaving the bar one night. As I was about to walk out the door, this girl who was about to come in stopped and looked me over. She asked me my name, so I tell her. She says, Nice to meet you. Let's go and takes me by the hand. Drunk me gives an enthusiastic okay and we walk hand in hand to her apartment. Number 15. Working abroad in Spain for a few months as part of a college program. Got pretty close with a handful of guys and girls and we would all go out together. One night I'm dancing with one of them and I'm super drunk. So I lean in and say, hey, do you want to shock the world? Trying to hook up with her. That clearly did not work, 
But the next day I brushed it off and laughed about it with everyone. Week later, we're all out again, and a different girl in our friend group asked me if I want to shock the world. I ended up taking her home and having one of the best nights of my life, if you know what I mean. Number 16. In college, I would shave my head to the bone. I used an electric razor on my face because I can't grow a beard, and I would use a blade on my scalp. I went to a friend in the dorm and asked her if I could borrow some of her women's shaving cream so I wouldn't get razor burn. She volunteered to shave my head for me. When she was done, I said thanks and went down the hall to get a shower. I came back to the room and she was still there waiting for me. She was extremely turned on by shaving my skull. She quite literally attacked me when I opened my door. We destroyed my room, flipped furniture, broke a desk, and knocked the doors off one of the closets. I almost felt victimized, but it was so freaking good. She was my barber for the rest of the year. Ten out of ten best haircut ever. Wow, you really lucked out with your choice of hairstylist. Not only did she give you the best haircut of your life, but she also gave you the best lay of your life. Sounds like things got pretty wild in that dorm room, but hey, sometimes you just have to let loose and break a few desks. I bet you'll never forget that haircut or that experience with your friend slash barber. Number 17 was in college. Got randomly paired with two girls in my class to work on a project. We met in one of the girls' dorms. After we finished the project, she pulled out a pack of beers and we just drank and talked. One of the girls was telling a story about how she saw someone at a bar, kissed two people simultaneously. I was like, what? That's not possible. And they were both like, Dude, it's totally possible. I was like, how? I can't even picture that. So they showed me we were drunk, and then things quickly escalated to us having a threesome. I would definitely do another school project with them. Number 18. A girl I met in class was lost for her next class. Showed her the way and got her number, you know, if she gets lost again. We parted for the day. She was pretty. So I ran the story to my roommate. Roommate decided to play a dumb joke by sending her a message saying that I miss her already. She texted her dorm address, brought some food, but she wanted to do something else. So instead of eating food that night, I ate something else. Wow, not only did you get the girl's number, but she even invited you over to her dorm, and instead of eating food, you ended up eating well, something else. I guess sometimes it pays to be a little bit silly and take risks, even if it means sacrificing a meal. Who needs food? when you have a hot date. Number 19. I had my eyes on a woman at a pub for some time, way out of my league as usual, but she was with a group of guys. When she finally was on her own, I went over and chatted her up. It was just too easy, and before you knew it, we were in a cab. Headed back to my place. The morning after, she started referring to conversations that we never had, and that's when I realized that she'd mixed me up with the guy who she was actually going home with from the pub. He was probably just going to the bathroom or something. Number 20. A woman at my job said that my feet were sexy. I was wearing sandals. I said, okay, thanks. Before our workday was over, she asked if I wanted to go to her place. I was like, sure, thinking this was just a social visit. We get to her place and she says, you need to shower. I was like, um, okay, I took a shower and she steps in as well. And from there on, we had lovely sex. She was indeed into feet and spent a lot of time sucking my toes, which I learned that day did nothing for me and actually creeped me out. Number 21. My friend texted me saying she got a flat tire and doesn't know how to change one. I asked her where she was and it was a 10 minute drive from my place. So I headed over to change her tire. She was hot as frick, but I never made a move because 19-year-old me believed the whole she's out of my league thing. Also, she was two years older and we met through mutual friends. Anyways, I told her, it's all good. You can drive back home now. She said, no, sit in the car. Let's get you cleaned up. I said, it's fine. I can just go back home. It's no biggie. She said, just sit and chill for a bit. Next thing I know, we were making out and she got on top and I've liked car sex ever since. Sadly, though, that did ruin the friendship months later, and we just ended it. Number 22. So I just picked up my dog from Petco after getting him groomed and ran inside to pay my bill and pick up some dog treats. The girl at the register was clearly having a bad day. We chatted up a bit, and she explained she just got dumped by a guy over a tattoo. 
I told her that I was having a crappy day, too, and if she wanted to give me a call after she's off, I can buy her a beer. Later that evening, she sent me a text asking if I wanted to see the tattoo that she got dumped over. I said yes. She then sent me a picture of a pair of wolf paws tattooed on her boobs. I just responded with nice, and she then asked if I wanted to see them in person. I just sent her my address, and about 20 minutes later, I had some very awesome rebound sex. Number 23. My buddy used to try to do this thing at the bar where he would dance his butt into girls and hope that they'd start dancing with him. It never worked, even one time. But one time I was standing on the edge of the dance floor and he was trying to do it to this girl. And she grabbed onto me and pulled me into her and whispered in my ear, pretend to be my boyfriend so that my friend would go away. My friend left and I danced with her all night and then spent the rest of the weekend with her. Thanks for watching and for more stories like this, do check out this video over here. Check out this video.